Nearly half of Coloradans are calling it a crisis. Where will the state get the water it needs in the future? One Front Range city has taken a proactive approach trying to stave off the problem before it gets any worse. This comes as a new survey done by Colorado College found that in Colorado, 87% of voters see our current water situation as a problem, with 47% of voters viewing it as a serious crisis. Aurora has been making aggressive moves to cut back residential water use for months now, from limiting grass and water features and new builds, and recently cutting watering to only two days a week. Well, tonight, they say anyone who waters more than that will face a surcharge, so it'll cost you. Troy Mason covers the biggest issues impacting Aurora tonight and continues our coverage of this move. Tori. Well, Karen, reservoirs are much lower than they have been historically. Now, the hope is that we'll get more snow, but you can't bet on Mother Nature. A lot of people are going through hard times right now, and the city wants to assure them that this is not a money grab. It's just another way to convince people to save water. It might seem early to talk outdoor water usage, especially with snow-covered lawns like this. Some people have gotten rid of grass entirely. But Aurora has been sprinkling new conservation plans for months. We did accelerate a little bit recently because of the conditions on the Colorado River. Replenishment from snowpack is uncertain, so residents are being asked to reduce water use by 20 percent. They'll see it in their bills if they don't. If their water use does not reduce by 20 percent, uh, their water bill will go up with a surcharge of $1.95 per 1,000 gallons. Homeowners pay around a $6 per 1,000 gallon base rate. If they don't reduce, the city says it won't have water to provide, so they'll have to lease it. The surcharge revenue pays for that. Not everybody, you know, <laughs> can probably afford some of this, and especially now in these times. The city has a program available for people with hardships, but they're hopeful homeowners will adjust. All people have to do is cut back to two days a week, cut one day a week out, and they'll reduce their water use by 20%. And they're aware of what that could do to the aesthetic of front yards. And I know that's a major concern that people have is that HOAs, metro districts, other entities are going to find them if they don't have a green lawn. The city says it's talking with HOAs. While some homeowners are against the charge, Brown says many think it's time to get aggressive. Most of our citizens are probably more in the supportive camp. Now, the city hopes that they'll be able to go back to that normal three day a week watering schedule, but they have to see the impact of this first. It could be as soon as next year. Eventually, they hope that the water use will go down on its own because of residential landscape changes. We're live in Aurora. Tori Mason covering Colorado first. Tori, thank you. Tori is continuing to cover the issues impacting Aurora. You can support her coverage by sending tips through our tip line or going online to cbscolorado.com.